I am proud to announce the publication of my four-hour video training resource, Nine Essential Skills for Excel 2007. When you purchase my video training resource, you will receive 25 individual video tutorials to guide you through each of the nine essential Excel 2007 skills. A PDF of the step-by-step -step instructions that I demonstrate on each of the 25 video tutorials. The Excel 2007 worksheets that I used while filming this video so that you can practice your new skills using the same Excel practice files that I use in each video tutorial. So that you can see the style of focused training that I offer, I am sharing a complete 11 minutes and 30 second video tutorial on lookup functions in Excel 2007. In this episode, I'm going to introduce you to lookup functions in Excel 2007. Specifically, the VLOOKUP function, and V stands for Vertical Lookup, and the HLOOKUP function, and H, as you probably guessed, stands for Horizontal Lookup function. First, the VLOOKUP function. I'm going to give you two examples. In the first example, we're going to be looking for an exact match in our VLOOKUP, and in the second example, we're going to be looking for an approximate match. All right. Let me explain the VLOOKUP function using plain language. I want to be able to use the VLOOKUP function because I need to retrieve information. I need to find out the description for this item number. All right, so let me double click here. And first is the lookup value. In order to retrieve the description, I need to look up a match for this item number. In order to retrieve the description, I need to look up a match for this item number. Where am I going to look? I'm going to be looking in the leftmost column of a table array. So I've created a name range, as you will see later on in this lesson, called Master List. So I want to look up a match, an exact match, for this item number in the leftmost column of a table array. When I find that match in the leftmost column going down vertically, where is the information that I want to retrieve? Well, the description is in column number two. So there's my column index. And again, remember, I'm looking for an exact match. So the fourth argument is an optional argument. When you want an exact match, you use the word false. And now I have the information that I was looking up. All right, let me create this from scratch. But before I do, I want to stress the importance in lookup functions of using a named range for your table array. So this range of cells I've named master list. And I use a named range in my lookup functions for at least two reasons. Reason number one is that I can then have that named range, my table array, on any worksheet in this workbook. And reason number two is that, as you will see, I'm going to be copying the VLOOKUP function in order to retrieve additional information. So a name range creates, by default, an absolute cell range. So it's going to be really easy, once I write the formula once, to make a minor modification in order to get the list price and the quantity on hand. All right, equals VLOOKUP, tab. And I want to use the function arguments dialog box, so I'm going to click on the FX button. Let me just move this down so that you can see. All right, remember that in order to retrieve the description, I want to be able to look for a match for a lookup value, in this case, the item number. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to be copying this later on to uh, look up the list price and the quantity on hand. So I want to make sure that my column is frozen in place. So I want to put a dollar sign in front of the letter F, column F, to freeze that in place. All right, where am I going to find the information? I'm going to be finding the information in the leftmost column going down vertically in a table array. Since I've created a name range, I can use the keyboard shortcut F3 to bring up the Paste Names dialog box. I call this list Master List, so type the letter M to make it easier to find. Click OK. So there is my table array. Now, when I find the match in the leftmost column going down vertically, when I find that match, where am I going to find the information? It's going to be in column two. The description is in column two, so I'm going to put that number in there. 
Now again, remember I'm looking for an exact match. So I want to type in the word false and then click OK. And there you go. I found a match for this item number in order to look up and return the information for the description. I had to look for it in the leftmost column of a table array. When I found the match, I retrieved the information from the second column. And I used the word false to ensure that it's going to be an exact match. So now I can quickly double click down. Now, remember I used the dollar sign in front of column F because I now want to look up the list price. So now as I click over here, my lookup value is going to be looking for that item number in column F. And I'm going to be looking in that same table array, the master list. All I have to do is change the column reference. So the list price is in column three, counting over from the left. So I'll make that change. Everything else remains in place. And let's uh, use the uh, format paintbrush to get the uh, formatting. Click OK. And now double click. And now I have my VLOOKUP for the list price. I can make one change when I copy the lookup function over here to find the quantity on hand. All I have to do is change the column index. So the quantity on hand is in the fourth column. One, two, three, four. Make that change. Click OK. And let's uh, use this formatting. Right mouse click. Format paintbrush. There. And now we'll double click. So we found the exact matches for the information that we wanted to retrieve using the VLOOKUP function and the word false. Now let me show you how to use a VLOOKUP function when we're looking for an approximate match. So in this scenario, we want to use the VLOOKUP function to determine what quantity discount our customer um, qualifies for. So once again, I have created a name range that I'm going to be using as my table array. I call it a quantity discount. And it's important when you're looking for an approximate match, of course, remember that you're going to be looking for a match in the leftmost column of an array going down vertically. An approximate match requires that you sort that leftmost column in ascending order. All right, so let's work this through. I want to be able to determine what discount this order qualifies for by looking for a match for this lookup value. I'm going to find that match in the leftmost column going down vertically of a name range, which is my table array. When I find that approximate match, what do I want to retrieve? I want to retrieve the discount, which is in column number two. And remember that we're using, an, we're looking for an approximate match so we can leave the fourth argument out or put in the word true. So in this case, the lookup value was 110 units that were ordered. So VLOOKUP is looking for a match for 110 going down vertically. It's an approximate match, so it wants to find the closest value without going over it. So 100 is uh, less than 110, but 100, 110 is greater than 100. Let me explain it that way. 110 is greater than 100, but it is less than 200. So here is the approximate match, and it returns this discount, 30%. So it's really easy once you understand basic concepts naming your table array and understanding to set up your structure so that the match that you're looking for is in the leftmost column of that table array. Now let's take a look at the HLOOKUP function, the horizontal lookup function. I want to use the HLOOKUP function in order to see what tax bracket I fall into. So my lookup value is my stated income. So my lookup value is going to be this cell reference. Now I create it an array. And this is a simple array. We don't use horizontal uh, lookups nearly as often as we do uh, vertical lookups. So here is my named, uh, here is my table array. And I'm going to be looking for the information in the topmost row. So I'm going to be looking for an approximate match in the topmost row for this range. 
when I find the approximate match, then where do I receive the or return the information for? Well, I want to find the percentage of tax that I owe. So that's going to be in the third row going down. All right, so let's work this through from scratch. And let's change the value over here. Let's make this 90,000. And let's create our H lookup. Equals H lookup. And this time I'm not going to use the function arguments dialog box. It's really pretty simple. So the lookup value is over here. And my reference to it is always going to be in this cell. So I don't need to use a mixed cell reference. We separate arguments with the comma. Where am I going to find the information? I'm going to find it in the topmost row of a table array. So as I showed you with the quantity discount, what's important here when you're looking for an approximate match is that you sort your top row in ascending order from left to right. So when I find the approximate match in the top row of this array, where am I going to find the information that I'm really looking for? What is the row index number? Well, the tax is in the third row going down. Now remember that by default, an H lookup and a V lookup are set up to return approximate matches. So I don't have to put anything in as the fourth argument. And there you go. So 28% is the tax due on $90,000 because we found uh, an approximate match for this lookup value in the topmost row. 90,000 is the value that we're looking for. So over here we have 28% because it found the approximate match over here. 90,000 is greater than this value, but it is less than the next value. So when it found that approximate match, it returned the information in the third row. So if you speak through your scenario using uh, plain language, I really think that you'll come to a very quick understanding of how to use the VLOOKUP function and the HLOOKUP function. Now that concludes this chapter. In the next chapter, I'm going to introduce you to the many great ways that you can use paste special options.